On this episode, we will talk about consuming lemon, lime, or acidic food after your gastric sleeve. We'll also talk about do you need to be severely overweight to get a gastric sleeve? And we'll talk about fibromyalgia. Does it get better or worse after weight loss surgery? Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Alvarez with endobariatric.com and welcome to episode 204, 204 of the Ask Dr. A Show. Thanks so much for joining us and uh, if you're new to the show, I always invite you to send me your questions if you're interested in, uh, in uh, knowing more or if there is something and out of the 204 episodes we haven't talked about, please, please send me your questions and you can do so by using the hashtag AskDrA throughout social media that we were able to grab those questions, add them here to the queue, and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Also, if you're interested in weight loss surgery, gastric sleeve information, weight loss in general, uh, be sure to subscribe, hit that subscribe button, that way you don't miss any of our future videos. All right, let's get into the show. Okay, so our first question is, uh, Dr. Alvarez, can I consume lemon, lime, or acidic food after my gastric sleeve? The answer is yes, but there is a but, all right? But not right away. You need to wait and follow your doctor's guidelines once your sleeve has healed. After at least three to four weeks, you can consume it. Go easy on it. Now, it doesn't mean that if you're on phase one, you're doing broth, for example, if you're doing chicken broth or beef broth or vegetable broth, and you want a few drops of, uh, of lemon on your soup, it's not a problem. It's just when you're consuming too much of it, uh, right after surgery is not a good idea. So uh, wait at least uh, the 30 day mark, or if you have any questions, always ask your doctor. Uh, my patients have my, my direct email, they have direct access to me always, but ask your doctor. But after 30 days, and if you're not, you're not doing too much of it, um, I mean moderately, like normal, a uh, normal meal, a lemon, a lemon on your tea, or on your fish, or it's gonna be just, just fine. Okay, our second question is, uh, do you need to be severely overweight uh, to be eligible for weight loss surgery? The answer is no. And this will depend, this will depend on um, where you're from uh, since uh, uh, like uh, Asia has a lower BMI requirement because patients in Asia don't have to be severely overweight to be a, a, eligible for weight loss surgery. It happened to us today. Today we uh, accepted a, uh, a female patient with a BMI of 29 and in Asia you are eligible for weight loss surgery starting at a BMI of 27.5 because for them they are obese at that point. So uh, it, of course it depends on your case, it depends on medical conditions you might have. Uh, in the United States where us here in America uh, you're talking of having a, a BMI of at least 30. And again, this will depend on each and one of your cases to be eligible for weight loss surgery. Now, if you wanna know really quick, go over to my website and uh, go to uh, our contact us and we can tell you for a free online consultation if you are a candidate or not for this type of procedure. Our third question is, uh, what happens to fibromyalgia? Uh, this condition, I already have it and uh, I really know, wanna know what's gonna happen to me because I'm looking into weight loss surgery. Does it get better? Does it get worse? Well, fibromyalgia all around patients, uh, nine out of 10, that get, they get way better. It get, gets better on, the, on certain trigger points or certain tender or more tender points, inflammation in your body, aches and pains, everything gets better. As you start losing weight and your inflammation and your systemic inflammation lowers in your body, just because you're losing weight, your inflammation in your body will start getting better and better, lower and lower, and all this information will lower the trigger points and the aches and pains. 
All right, guys, there you have it. That is it for episode 204 of the Ask Dr. A Show. Hey, send me your questions, please, using the hashtag Ask Dr. A. I'll be here waiting for them, and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you here. Uh, also, please, if you like the, uh, the uh, content, if it was useful, leave me one of these because it's very helpful here to support the channel, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Dr. Alvarez with endobariatric.com where we are changing lives one sleeve at a time. Take care and God bless.